QAA provides external quality assurance for higher education across the UK. QAA is funded by, on one hand, the institutions that we review, on the other hand by the funding councils in each part of the UK who contract with us to conduct quality assurance to reassure them about the quality of the provision that they're funding. And that means that we are independent, but working in partnership to achieve that public reassurance of quality and standards. One of the major achievements over the last year has been the redevelopment of what we call the UK Quality Code. The Quality Code sets out nationally agreed expectations and guidelines that all UK higher education providers are expected to meet. And it's been influenced by uh, decision makers from across the UK and it's been shaped and formed by the institutions. It's used not just by QAA in reviews, but plenty of institutions also use it as a development tool. We've added new sections which bring to the forefront concerns about student involvement in higher education and about public information. The review is a means of evaluating the University or College's educational provision. And this is done via the University or College submitting some evidence and then a visit by the QAA review team. We put together teams of peers, peer review, these are academic staff and students who go in to ask questions, to meet with people, meet with students, meet with lots of staff, testing the evidence that they've been provided with, um, finding out how those standards are being met and how improvements are being brought about. We've introduced recently, actually, a logo uh, scheme for our subscribing institutions who've gone through a review successfully they're now able to use a logo, a quality mark, to say that they've done that. Every review we produce will um, generate a list of commendations, examples of good practice, um, specific references to the things that a university or a college is doing particularly well. But we'll also draw attention to the things that they need to improve. Access to higher education is a really critical area of activity for us. Every year it enables something like 20,000 mature students who for whatever reason have got no traditional qualifications to find their way into higher education. For QAA, one of our major areas of growing activity is and will be our engagement with employers. We want to work more closely with them and one of the ways in which we're doing that is by um, taking on and developing an employer-based training database. It's important for the QAA to be transparent to the public so that the public and students in particular can see the benefits of quality assurance and of the work that the QAA does. We're tweeting, we're on Facebook, we're making podcasts. We've made a lot of efforts to make sure that the work that we do is directly communicated to the public. We've redesigned our website. We've made a lot of what we do far more accessible. Quality assurance matters not just to those students currently engaged in higher education, but for years to come, the prospective students who are going to attend those universities and colleges. Mm -hmm.